Hey everybody, this review is on Therasage Infrared Mats. This is from Alex from healthhacksreviewed.com. So the Therasage mat, um, way back when, excuse me, uh, used to be higher quality, basically. And then they, uh, they hit it big, uh, they got in a sharper image, and they had to start to meet that demand, of course, to be on all those stores, which is a tremendous volume of products. They had to make a lot more, and they needed to uh, streamline the manufacturing process, more mass produce them. They couldn't quite keep the same quality for obvious reasons, and it's hard to turn down <laughs> multi-millions of getting in a big chain like that. So uh, they used to be higher quality, basically. Um, but what didn't change is uh, something that I think is kind of obvious, but it's important to note, is if you look at the pad, uh, you'll notice that there's these little jade discs. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but uh, what, what, what you do notice is that there's space in between each jade disc, right? They're not, it's not all solid jade. So it's not like it doesn't work, but if we're comparing that mat with the other mats out there where there is no space uh, of not having infrared emission, kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. That's a very quick conclusion. Um, it, you can actually measure the disk and calculate how much surface area it actually takes up and a good chunk of the mat is would not even be covered is another way to look at that. Um, so I think if we're going to spend some money uh, we should at least focus on uh, getting the max amount of infrared dosage, the amount of uh, emission, which means that we don't want any gaps in uh, where the wavelengths could be, but they're not. Uh, it does roll up pretty well. It is very soft and comfortable. Um, it's very lightweight and portable uh, because it is so soft and rolled up. If you're, if you're planning to travel with it a lot and unpack and pack it, the wiring is not the best it could be. Um, so that might be an issue down the road, being perfectly frank. Uh, outside of that, price points, good. I think it's good for what it is. That's why it's one of the lower price points out there. Um, that's about it. You can't wash it. If you're planning to sweat on it or you sweat easily, definitely get a waterproof pad over the top of it. If you have any more questions about this brand, how it compares to other brands, send me an email uh, or call me by phone. Thanks.